So the first thing I will talk about here is that the this first scene where we see uh, Ryan Gosling with uh, Dave Bautista is a scene that was actually written for the very first Blade Runner. And uh, this idea that uh, right at the beginning when Hampton Fencher, the, the writer, screenwriter of the first the movie, was thinking about that bowl of soup as a centerpiece of a, to bring tension in the scene. And I thought it was like a kind of a striking, poetic, beautiful idea to bring back. We tried as, a, as much as we could to, to uh, build the sets and to use uh, CGI only for uh, background elements. I must say that uh, as looking at those interiors here, you'll see that the light lighting patterns are quite sophisticated and uh, Roger Deakins uh, did a great job to uh, create those artificial sun patterns. The sets of uh, Ryan Gosling walking in the desert is something that I will remember as being one of the most beautiful sets I ever seen. Uh, those gigantic erratic statues were designed to uh, create a specific lyrical uh, uh, tension and uh, an atmosphere to uh, bring uh, to the scene. Things were simpler then. So the first movie was inspired by dark days in London and uh, Mind Blade Runner is more inspired by uh, bad days in uh, Canada where uh, the weather conditions are harsher and uh, there's a kind of silver-like quality that you will find in the movie. By who? Here, everything you're seeing is real. I mean, we design everything, and that shot of the spinner getting inside the penthouse is a real spinner. It was, for me, striking as a director to have the chance to, to uh, use real vehicles and a real environment that uh, we tried as, as much as we could to, to recreate the world for real, so we will feel the realism. This breaks the world. It was very important for me to have the company Atari in the movie because it's really something that was striking the first movie, how Ridley Scott used real companies. And I wanted to use those same, very same companies like Pan Am and Atari uh, for them to be present in the movie. I must say that, that uh, a lot of uh, design, of graphic design for the computers in the movie were inspired by the arcade games that I was using as a teenager uh, at the beginning of the 80s, like Lunar Lander, uh, Atari game, of course.